up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, so look, I am so behind on these vlogs. It, like the, the one I'm gonna about to show you, like there's still snow on the ground, okay? Like it's June. So I am so behind. So for that, I'm sorry. But let's talk about that for a little bit. Like I love vlogging. It's a lot of fun, but unfortunately it's not a priority, right? I mean, my priority is right there and upstairs with the family. So it's the markets and the family. So, you know, I'm not a normal YouTube vlogger. A lot of vloggers make you know, really nice um, living by uploading every single day because that's the source of their of their revenue, right? That's not what, really what I do. I love doing these videos because I, I view it as a creative expression. Like I really, really enjoy video. I've always enjoyed it. Um, and this new kind of medium, um, this delivery, this platform, which you know has been redefined in my opinion by Casey Neistat. So thank you very much. Um, it just completely inspired me to, to to reinvigorate that creative expression, which is video. So the other reason I'm doing this is is these gloves. So the kids had their end of day um, party. Um, so they just finished preschool, and they brought the dads in. It was really nice. Check out this note right here. See these gloves, Daddy? They don't fit me just yet. My handprints are on them, so you never forget. I'm only small for a little while, so remember my hands and remember my smile. I love you, Daddy, with all my heart. I'm like, every time I read it, I get choked up. Like, such a great reminder. So I need to hang these up in the office. Like, I can't even read it. Like, breaks my heart. So one of the main reasons is I do this is not so much for you but it's for me and for us. Like the time with our kids is so special. And like how often do we all do this? We're all guilty of this. Like we shoot something, we're like okay, great. Take something to the family, take the SD card out, and here's what you do with it. And you go like this. And you never do anything with it. I mean, we all have such great footage of our lives that will stay perpetually on an SD card, buried away in a drawer, doing nothing with it. So like take these and kind of document our lives as the kids are growing up and as my business is growing and as my TV career goes and hopefully my social media career um, reignites. In fact, the kids like love watching the YouTube videos. I mean, they like watching themselves the most. So part of it is just to, to edit it down into consumable eight, 10, 12 minute little videos. We can go back in years to come and look and say, oh, hey, look here, you know, we did this trip when the kids are three years old. So part of it is like, most of it is I do it for me and for the family. You know, a lot of YouTubers, like traders, you know, guys in my industry, they're, you're doing like models and bottles and rented boat parties. And you know, a lot of guys are kind of single at my age and I'm not. <laughs> right, so so my my vlogs are gonna be filled with family stuff and crying kids and diapers and you know pretty pretty boring stuff. So if you don't like it, if it's not interesting, that's fine because it's not really for you. It's for me. So hopefully you enjoy it. If not, that's fine too. I will try. I can't make any commitments. I will try to pick the pace back up here. I've got a lot of footage. I can't wait to show you guys the CNBC stock draft, the 2017 stock draft, that's crazy. Um, that's probably two episodes away. So anyways, let's pick back up. Um, we're gonna go pick you back up in Naples, Florida, right before we take off from Florida. We're visiting our friends, uh, Andrew and Aphrodite uh, Baptiste, good friends of ours. Uh, Drew is a legend in my industry. He's a friend, but he's also a mentor. He, um, he retired from Morgan Stanley after being the global head of technical analysis before that. He was at JP Morgan. He's a huge Elliott Wave guy, provides his research much like I do. I primarily focus on retail traders. He provides it to institutional traders and hedge funds, and he's an Elliott Wave guy. So we are going to visit them, and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Hey, John, is this proper golf etiquette? <laughs> what? John, what's going on here? Oh, oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Come here, boys. The gator's over there. There probably is, huh? out in New York at the Traders Expo, flew immediately down to Orlando. Now we're in Fort Lauderdale at Trisha's parents. Get on the airplane, head back. We're trying to get the kids 
napping so they don't completely destroy the whole airplane. Been a great trip. But time to go back to work here. Hi, fishy. Does anybody recognize what shape this water fountain is? Let's go, buddy. Ready to go home? Whoa, that was a fast one. Hi, Hi Mom. Hi. You'll watch this video for months to come. 27? Yeah. Go back to the Yay! We should be right here. Say excuse me. Excuse me. I'm coming. Hi, cheese. Can you say I'm gonna go on the airplane? Yes. That's what I said. You wanna go to LA? Yes. On Virgin. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, we gotta wait online. Of course, there's a mechanical delay. Now we're delayed 30 minutes. Oh, the kids are gonna flip. To burn off energy, we just ran the kids up and down the uh, jetway about 25 times. It's kind of like dropping fuel when a plane needs to land. It's called landing heavy. You guys have been through that? It came, DJI Mavic Pro Part 2. You guys remember, I, I lost my Mavic in Canada over New Year's. Jeff was flying my drone, and he handed me the controller. I was like, here you go, dude. And I looked at the controller, it said 400 feet away, zero feet in the air. And, then, and granted, this is the Mavic Pro that was like, I don't know, like a week old. A week old. I was like, awesome. I think it landed itself. Well, I had to get a new one because I'm going to Arizona tonight. And like, how can you not take cool drone shots in Arizona? Let's not lose this one. Look at how small it is. Even the box is small. It's like the size of my hand. But I can't open it. My wife's like, yeah, go ahead and take him out and fly the drone a little bit, but don't let him in the snow because they're like 10 minutes away from nap time. Yeah, bad chance of that happening. What's wrong with your shoe? It's stuck. Okay. Okay. Let me see. What's stuck? Shoe. Oh, your shoe fell off. Is your foot cold? There we go. All fixed. Some snowballs. Down oh, I caught it! Oh, I almost caught it. I feel like Derek Jeter. God, I can't.
can't catch anything. Ready, set, hike. I'm gonna miss you. It was this girl's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you. Yep. Bye, Jake and Brody. Bye. Jake and Brian's house. Come here, you. <laughs> I hate leaving you guys, but I gotta do it. Oh. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. Like, I am hauling right now, and I always feel bad, like driving, passing people on the right, like that. I almost wish I could put a sign in my car and be like, I'm sorry for driving like a dick, but I am so late for the airport and I gotta make this flight. This is definitely the last flight out to Phoenix tonight. But it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna meet up with a client of mine. He's been a client of mine, JR. Like, he's been reading my stuff, I think, like 10 years now. So he was an airline pilot for US Air and then he retired, I think, two years ago. And um, he called into a show I was doing on CBC and I like, Gave him a congratulations and stuff for, for that, for retiring. And he started his own money management firm for to manage pensions of airline pilots. Like, it's great. It's 6.56. My flight's at 8.15. Waze, which I don't know if you guys have used Waze before, but it's awesome. Says I should be there at 7.15. I'm going to park in short term. I can never remember if domestic check-in cutoff is 45 or 30 minutes before. You can't get a better parking spot. Car here, stairs there. For when I forget my car, where I park my car, 208. I just met my friend Zach, film student, lives in the next town over. How's it? What's up, brother? What's up? I'm good. Nothing much. How are you doing, man? Good, bud. I might have some editing work for this man right here who's going to be a professional. Good to meet you. You do, man. <laughs> All right. Again, just a to Buffalo for Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. That was close. I was hauling ass to get here. We made it, though. Just said goodnight to the kids, and actually JR is going to pick me up from the airport, so that's cool. I'm going to film you. So we look dramatic. Good flight. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Everybody, meet Jr. Long time, ten yeah, year like client. Ten year, fit ten years, right? Fifteen. Wait man. till we tell you this guy's story. 